Hey guys, hey, check this out. So, just recently my friend BJ, Benny Johnson, um, gifted me with a 3D printer. And, boy, is that an exciting thing. At first, I was like, I'll never be able to figure this out. But I went ahead and set it up and started uh, playing around with it. So I started playing around with it. Yeah, this is, I had to cut back in, sorry. Had something I had to go take care of. But anyway, started playing around with it. This isn't the first print that I did. And this one, the body, uh, I've got to learn my settings on the, the printer because it's got a lot of harsh lines on it. I sprayed a lot of buildup primer on the cab and, and trying to get rid of it. But my first print, um, well, let me stop. This was off of Colts. Uh, I don't know who, I forget who it was. I purchased this file for this mega truck. But before I get ahead of myself, I'll talk about the mega truck in a second. My friend Miguel over at Hobby Works, uh, he helped me. He guided me through. I had some serious issues at first with my printer. I didn't know what to do. It wasn't working. And he talked me through it. And uh, But one thing that Miguel did. So shout out to Miguel at Hobby Works. I talked to him quite a while back. Miguel had to, to move uh, halfway across the country and some other things, so it, it set him back. But before he moved, I said, Miguel, I would love to have a big block Ford that's not the 429 Hemi style. You can get that when it's readily available. The 429 Boss, it's the... Uh, it's not an FE engine, but it's you, you can't really find anything that's not a Boss 429. Now you can find a 427 uh, single overhead cam or a 427 uh, overhead valve engine, but that's an FE engine. It's different. Now, I love FE engines, but the real powerhouse, I feel, uh, of Ford V8s was always the big block Ford, the 385 family. And Miguel said, Matt, he, he designed me an engine. This is in white, and it's going to be hard to see. I'll have to see if I can't get it. Now, this print doesn't look good. This is one of my very first prints um, once I actually got it to start printing. Um, let me tone the color down, or the lighting down just a hair. So this is a, this is a 460 style engine. It, your 429 Boss would be the same block, but the heads were different. Intake's different. So he designed this entire engine and this print looks horrendous. It's terrible. I just white glued it together just to kind of see what it would look like. But it's a uh, it's a 429 or a 429 460 or whatever. What 514, 572, I don't care, you know, it doesn't really matter, but it's that design. It's hard. You can hardly find this. I think Colts might have one floating around on there, but uh, Miguel designed this engine. And man, he's spot on with the uh, cylinder head. I've got some, I've got a 429. Uh, got some, actually got some 460 dove heads uh, in my shop here. And I just looked at them, compared it, and I'm like, man, he is so dead on with the way the uh, head bolts are. I know this isn't at all focusing right, or uh, you're able to see it because the print is terrible. However, anyway. So he's got this engine and he's got various, he's working on various intakes, superchargers and all that stuff. I don't know if he's got it up on the site yet. Now, Miguel, um, most of the uh, products I think now that they're selling are just the files. I think they will print, but when you buy something off of there, it's just the file. If you want them to print it, they, uh, you have to reach out to Miguel through at Hobby Works and I think they will print. But anyway. Regardless of the fact, if you guys are Ford guys, and I know there are some out there, regardless of the fact that there's so many uh, Ford haters, a.k.a. Chevy guys, <laughs> um, there is now a big block Ford that you can uh, get printed, and it's awesome. Um, I don't think he's got it up on his site yet. Last I looked, I didn't see it, but anyway, it will be available. And the headers look awesome, those long tubes. But I did print a new one. I got some more resin because I already ran out of resin. It doesn't take long. And I printed one in gray. And uh, this is a file that Miguel sent me. This is how he laid it out for me. But yeah, check it out. 
it's pretty pretty detailed um, this one printed a lot better there's your intake and uh, your cylinder heads the block with it and it looks spot on got the oil filter down at the side there's your uh this a uh, this will make you chevy guys proud but he did he did put the uh general motor style distributor fuel pump right there in front of the distributor the uh dominator type carburetor your belts your uh time and plate cover water pump and then there, there's all your little oil filters and all that stuff oil pan a Tremec six speed and i'm sure he can come up with and hopefully he'll come up with a, a c6 to go behind it or some maybe a two-speed power glide and then the headers but anyway yeah cool 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 so all right thanks miguel for for that and now back to uh I'll, I'll link hobby works in the description of the video you guys go check out hobby works if you have a 3d printer uh you can buy those files and if not i think they'll print them for you so back to the the this mega truck so i was you know like a kid in a candy store i'm like i got a 3d printer now i can print anything and so i bought this file for this mega truck now there's monster truck there is so much amazing stuff but i printed um i bought the file for this mega truck i thought that would be cool i like mega trucks mud trucks things like that and i printed this um the first print um the chassis it, it, I, it was a failed print you see the front diff didn't print it was i don't know what the heck was going on but anyway i printed it again in the gray stuff um a little let down because with this this truck this file it's a it's all together and let me tell you what when they when the when you put the uh when you put it in your slicing program and you add all the um supports oh you talk about a nightmare this thing i should have took a picture of it before i cut the uh, supports out of the gray one here but oh my goodness it took an hour well maybe that's a little exaggeration but it felt like it to get all the supports cut loose and you know it's it's kind of the shocks are built in the everything's built on so it's going to be kind of a little hard to a little harder to um detail paint throwing this out there to miguel if you could make a uh monster truck ch or a mud truck or monster truck chassis that was modular pieces oh well, that would be awesome where all the parts come up things come apart but anyway maybe miguel i'll get with you on that that would be so amazing i think you could probably sell some of those files but anyway uh this one didn't work out so good because it was a failed print i could make it two-wheel drive but i reprinted it in the uh this gray i uh, had to replenish the resin and i started printing and i was so amazed and happy the tires i just got this sitting on some sanding blocks right now but the uh the mud tires these things are so cool man um they're even cupped out already uh got the wheels in it just i am just so having so much fun with this although it robs a lot of my time building model kits although this is a model kit um what i did do on this one if i can get the uh, body off i cut the roll cage where is it i went ahead and snipped the roll cage this stuff's super brittle but i snipped off the roll cage and i thought you know maybe i can cut some parts off and glue them back so i cut the roll cage off of it but it's still uh the print still wasn't that great i'm learning and uh unfortunately learning costs like 25 dollars <laughs> a bottle on um on resin but it's it's, it's going to be so much fun so maybe i can get this uh mud truck put together and you know since the the quality of my print's not that great maybe i'll just really mud it up heavy i was thinking maybe putting a windshield in it with some holes cut in it. you know how those mud trucks have like a either a chevy emblem or something right where the driver can see out but I, just having so much fun with this stuff but uh big shout out again to my friend bj benny johnson uh for for making this possible because without that gift of that 3d printer i wouldn't be sitting here making this video or or having this much fun so uh just want to thank everybody um for for the amazing gifts that have been gifted to me uh 
you you guys uh again i've said this before thank you just isn't proper that's really the only english word i really have uh to show my gratitude but thank you thank you thank you maybe that helps with exclamation points and a cherry on top uh you guys are great i just want to just continue to praise everyone especially you guys that watch these videos and comment and uh, support me that way i'm having so much fun um i'm printing currently right now i changed some settings on my printer and i'm currently printing as a matter of fact i'll walk out there right now it could be a big mess could possibly be a mess out here but i got the printer it's almost done with another with another body so um maybe this one i i, I minimize the um layer thickness to try to get it to uh, be a little better I don't know but maybe we'll see whenever this gets done it's got uh, thir 29 minutes left on this print it's been it's been going for quite a while but let's go back in here and I'll show you one other thing that when I bought that file what it came with it came with a kind of a simple simplistic uh, engine it, it, it it's not like I said, this stuff's kind of like all one piece, which will make it a beast to try and um, to try to uh, detail paint. But it does come with an engine. It came with like a big Hemi Dodge, looks like, which is cool because it's a Chevy truck and it doesn't have a Chevy engine. So that's that's pretty awesome. And one header pipe, so the exhaust zoomies come up through the hood. And this this didn't print that great either. I need to redo that as well. But it's just a lot of trial and error, practice, practice, practice. Uh, this practice costs money, but that's just how it is. But anyway, yeah, that, that engine goes in the, in the front of it. And it's just a simple model, but I think with a little bit of uh, details and some mud and some stuff like that, I think this would turn out to be really cool because who, who wouldn't want to... I just touched something on this this camera that I have no idea what I did. But anyway, who wouldn't want to drive that? Um, but anyway, yeah. Again, big shout out to Hobby. I mean, to uh, Hobby Works uh, for hooking me up with a major big block Ford. And if just by just if he uh, gets the the engine with the supercharger, I might could uh, hook it up. Big Ford powered Chevy body mud truck. That'd be awesome. But anyway, I could just talk for hours about this stuff. I just, I can't get enough. It's it's so fun. Anyway, as always, in every video, um, another person who truly supports this channel is uh, Mark over at Hobby Nut Models. You guys go over and check out Hobby Nut Models. Um, grab yourself a kit, paint, airbrush, pretty much everything you need to get into this hobby full force over there at hobby nut models linked in the description below so just click that link carry you right over there and uh, see what he's got in stock i also want to thank my patreons um you guys are great thank you for your support and uh, making what i do here behind this camera so much fun and uh to you guys who watch these videos you're the greatest of support uh like the video if you don't mind and uh yeah I can't wait so i'll keep you updated on how this thing turns out maybe the other body doesn't have the wood grain um marks on it and uh hey if you have any advice on me working a 3d printer um please let me know or another place where i can uh you know get other files and maybe some maybe you know where there's a monster truck that's like a modular design uh, that I could that I could um, that I could build or something print oh man so cool thanks guys you're you're the best and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, I'm just gonna say one more time thank you for all your support all right guys see you later and uh, can't wait to see the mud truck transform all right talk to you later bye